In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on June 9, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Atlanta Braves vs. Washington Nationals On Sunday afternoon, the Atlanta Braves and Washington Nationals will conclude their four-game series at Nationals Park. The Braves have secured victories in three of their last five games. Despite their recent offensive struggles, with only 14 runs scored in their last four games, they are expected to perform well in this matchup. This optimism is based on their strong batting against left-handed pitchers, combined with Herz's struggles on the mound in his first start, where he allowed four runs. Additionally, Washington's bullpen issues will likely make it difficult for them to contain the Braves' offense in this game. The Nationals, on the other hand, have lost five of their last six home games. Their offensive performance has also been lacking, with just five runs scored in their last three games. These struggles are expected to continue, given their poor hitting against left-handers and fried solid performance for the Braves, having allowed only five runs in his last three road starts. Notably, Fried pitched eight scoreless innings against the Nationals in May, indicating he could effectively shut down their offense again. DJ Herz is set to make his second career start on Sunday, facing a formidable challenge. He will be up against a strong Atlanta offense in a hitter-friendly park, and he will also be pitching opposite one of the National League's best pitchers, Max Fried. Herz, who was called up from Triple A Rochester on Tuesday, had a rough debut against the Mets, conceding four earned runs on seven hits and two walks over four innings. Given Atlanta Atlanta's impressive record, having won 15 of their last 20 road games against the Nationals, Fried is likely to dominate while Herz may struggle against the Braves' potent lineup. Herz's current earned run average of 9 and his disappointing first start suggests that Atlanta's offense will start strong, paving the way for a comfortable victory. Therefore, the Atlanta Braves to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Max Fried will take the mound for the final game of this road series. In his last outing against the Boston Red Sox, he allowed three runs on four hits over seven innings, while striking out a career-high 13 batters. Although the Nationals are not prone to striking out often, making double-digit strikeouts less likely for Fried, both teams are expected to generate offense on Sunday. Historically, Washington has averaged five runs per game over their last 10 games against the Braves. While Washington ranks in the bottom five in terms of runs per game, they are likely to score three or more against Atlanta in this game. Therefore, over the projected total is our full game total pick. Milwaukee Brewers vs. Detroit Tigers The Milwaukee Brewers and Detroit Tigers are set to conclude their three-game weekend series on Sunday in Detroit. This interleague matchup features the Brewers, who currently lead the National League Central Division, and the Tigers, who are positioned fourth in the increasingly competitive American League Central Division. Throughout the season, the Brewers have managed to find ways to win despite contending with a depleted pitching staff and a lineup lacking powerful hitters. However, they face a significant challenge in the series finale on Sunday as they go up against Cy Young candidate Tarek Skubal. Skubal has been particularly formidable at home, boasting a 4-0 record and an earned run average around two. He is known for delivering quality starts, which will help conserve the Tigers' bullpen on Sunday. The Brewers' offense, aside from their recent 10-run outburst in the series opener, has been relatively subdued. Bryce Wilson, who has only made it into the sixth inning twice in his last five starts, will likely need to rely on the bullpen earlier than Skubal. The Detroit Tigers hold a clear pitching advantage in this game and are expected to limit the Brewers' run production. Bryce Wilson has performed decently on the road with a 3-1 record, a 3.5 4-1 earned run average, and a .220 opposing batting average over 31.2 innings. In contrast, Tarek Skubal has been exceptional at home with a 4-0 record, a 2.13 earned run average, and a .180 opposing batting average over 38 innings. Although both teams have shown differences in their hitting abilities this year, it is unlikely to make a substantial difference in this game. Consequently, the Detroit Tigers' money line is our full game side pick. Examining the last seven starts for both pitchers this season reveals their proficiency at limiting runs. Bryce Wilson has a 1-2 record with a 3.28 earned run average and a 
1.35 WHIP over 35.2 innings, while Tarek Skubal has a 4-1 to record with a 2.08 earned run average and a 0.97 WHIP over 43.1 innings. Both teams have struggled to score runs in their last six games leading into this matchup, with the Brewers averaging 3.83 runs per game and the Tigers averaging three runs per game during this span. Prior to their 10-run explosion on Friday night, the Brewers had scored just two runs over their previous three games, all of which went under the projected total. Additionally, three of Wilson's last five starts have also gone under. The Tigers, hitting just .238 as a team, were shut out in the series opener and had gone under the total in three consecutive games before this series. The under has also prevailed in each of Skubal's last two starts. Therefore, under the projected total is our full game total pick. Chicago Cubs vs. Cincinnati Reds The Chicago Cubs are set to face off against the Cincinnati Reds, with both teams currently experiencing different trajectories in their season performances. The Cubs, holding a record of 31-34, have faced difficulties recently, losing their last three games and falling to fourth place in the National League Central Division. Conversely, the Reds boast a 32-33 record and have surged ahead with seven consecutive victories, positioning them in second place in the division. I have been an avid fan of Imanaga throughout much of the season, but his recent outings have been disappointing. He was heavily hit in Milwaukee and then allowed five runs against the White Sox in his most recent start. Now, Imanaga faces the daunting task of regaining his form against a scorching hot Reds team in one of the most hitter-friendly ballparks in baseball. Even if Imanaga performs well, the Cubs have historically struggled to provide him with sufficient offensive support, and I remain skeptical that they will do so in this matchup. The Cubs' struggles are likely to continue in this series, especially against a formidable Reds lineup. Shota Imanaga, who surrendered five runs in his last start, is expected to struggle once more. Meanwhile, Frankie Montes, who didn't allow any runs in his previous start, is anticipated to dominate again. With the Cubs' bats expected to remain cold, the Reds should be able to secure another victory. Therefore, the Cincinnati Reds' money line is our recommended full-game side pick. In their last 10 games, the Chicago Cubs have a 7-2-1 record regarding the over-under. When playing as favorites on the road this season, their over-under record stands at 6-3-1. I anticipate both offenses will perform well against these rookie pitchers. While Shota Imanaga has been the better of the two, Cincinnati's recent offensive surge could disrupt his rhythm. Frankie Montes, with a season record of 3-4 and an earned run average of 4, has had his share of struggles, and I don't foresee him resolving these issues in this game, likely allowing runs to the Cubs' struggling offense. Both teams feature strong lineups, suggesting this game will be high-scoring from the outset. The Cubs, averaging 4.33 runs per game, are expected to drive in runs effectively, with contributions from players like Mike Tauchman and Michael Bush. The Reds, having scored 59 runs in their last nine games, should continue their offensive onslaught with key hitters like Tyler Stephenson, Ellie De La Cruz, and Spencer Steer. This matchup promises to be a high-scoring affair, with both teams' lineups poised to excel. Therefore, over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.